With this one, we're asked to solve this one, and there are a couple different avenues we can use to solve it, but with this particular video, I'm going to be solving it using the TI Inspire graphing calculator, and this will work for all the TI Inspire versions, but normally uh, you would move this 6 over to the other side. You can either factor it, quadratic formula, but we're going to demonstrate how to use it on the calculator because it's a little bit more efficient this way, so let's bring in my calculator. Here's your calculator. This is the home screen. From here, we want to go to the graph. Uh, so you can click on uh, several different buttons. This one will get you to the graph. This one right here will get you to the graph. We'll just use this one. So f1 of x. So we're going to have two separate equations here that we're going to be looking for the intersection point. So this equation is going to be our first one. Uh, we're going to basically divide this into two sides here. This first one here, and so let's bring that in here. This is our f1 of x is x squared uh, plus 5x. All right, so I'm just going to type that in here. x squared, your squared button is right here. x squared plus 5x. 5x. Then I'm just going to hit enter. This is my one graph, okay? Uh, this doesn't tell us a whole lot yet. We haven't solved anything yet. But the other one is if this one equals 6. So now I'm going to draw another graph on this one at 6 here. All right, so let's bring that one in. So my F2 is going to be 6, so y equals 6 on that second one. So let's bring that in. So the way I get to a second graph is I go here to tab. There, right here, you see how it says F of 2. If you ever want to get back to your original one, we just hit the up arrow. Uh, that's my original one that I've got. That's my x squared uh, plus 5x. But I'm going to go down to F2. And this one, I just want it to be 6. So I'm going to type in 6. Then I'm going to hit Enter here. Okay, so it looks like it intersects right here, and it intersects over here. Now, I can move my window around to make it a little bit easier to view if you want. I'm just going to leave it alone with, with this one right now. I don't see um, the need to move it around yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to look for the intersection point right here. So I'll go into Menu, Analyze Graph, Intersection. Now it asks for the lower bound. What that basically means is I need something on this side of it. Now we're going to be looking for two intersections, but I've got to do them one at a time. So anywhere on this side of it is fine. I'm just going to go right here and I'm going to click. Now it says upper bound. Notice down here it says upper bound. So I just have to go until it crosses. You notice as soon as I crosses, it gives me an intersection point right there. It pops up and it says this intersection. As long as it crosses there, then I can click it. So it looks like one intersection is here at negative 6, 6. So that's going to be important. So let's, let's write that one down. We'll go negative 6, 6. That is one of my intersection points. Now let's go back to our graph here. Let's look at what the other one is over here. So notice how this one will stay here. I can go Menu, Analyze Graph again, Intersection. Uh, anywhere on, again it says lower bound, anywhere on the left hand side, it really doesn't matter. In fact, I'll go way over here, it's fine. Then as soon as I drag it past that, it automatically pops up. Okay, And it says 1, 6. Let's do this, let's move this one down just because it's in our, in our way right now. So 1, 6 is our second one. So we've got two intersection points, negative 6, 6, and 1, 6. Okay, so let's write that one down. There we go. 1, 6. So these are our two. We're finding our intersection. Now, let's talk about this just for a second. This one line here is y equals 6. That's why we notice both of these y values are 6. Well, in this one, when we're trying to solve it, we're trying to find out what the x values are. So we're going, okay, what are my x coordinates here? So if I write this down, it's my x-coordinate, my y-coordinate. This one's my x-coordinate, my y-coordinate. But again, we're trying to solve this one, and we're trying to solve it for x. So I want to know what the x-coordinates are. So the x-coordinates in these two would be 1 and negative 6. And you can write them in any order. It could be negative 6, 1. Either way is okay. But basically what you're going to do is graph both of these, then look for the intersection points. There's going to be two of them. You'll notice that the y-value should be the same. It should be whatever this number is. Had this number been 10 or something, then it would be negative 6, 10, if that were the case. Uh, but whatever this number is, is, is going to be your y value. But really what we're concentrating on is the x value, because we're trying to solve this one for x.